All right, man. We gotta get today going, man. We're st we're here. Where are we? At the Joplin. <laughs> Joplin 44. Um, my load canceled. I had to stay here yesterday, which was not a bad thing. But uh, yeah, I had a load that was picking up in uh, in Joplin, and it was going up to Cold Springs, Minnesota, and. Uh, it's probably a probably a good thing it canceled, <laughs> but uh, so I got my first truck ordered, not used. Is that how it goes or something? Yeah, so I got my first one. Um, the um, so yesterday, you know, being Sunday and all, trying to find out, you know, what the. Yeah, it's hard to find something on Sunday, you know, unless it's like one of those like little click and go Uber, JV hunt, stuff like that. And can't find nothing on there on Sunday afternoon. So, so we hung out yesterday and we just booked us another load. Got to go pick up in Springfield and by 11, what time is it? 8.15. So we got plenty of time. So we got to get some coffee, coffee for me, coffee for the truck. Co you know, some coffee lane? You want some coffee? No coffee? No coffee. But, um... You want a treat? Treat? Go outside? Anything. Deer in the headlights. So, uh, yeah. We gotta get to uh, Toledo, Ohio for tomorrow morning. Shouldn't be a problem. So, uh, yeah. Let's go get some coffee, fuel, down the road.
are in Gaston, Gaston, Indiana. In the I-69 heading north. This rest area. We got about 154 miles into our delivery. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna do the old uh, A2 split deal. <clears throat> when I stopped, I still had like just right under three hours, like 2:45, right there somewhere. So that should just give me just enough time to get to our customer. I still had an open window; it was like seven to three to deliver. I could just do my 10-hour break, but uh, I was gonna I was gonna drive straight in. But I've never been to this place, so I'm not really 100% sure if you can stay there or not. You know, I called them, and they uh, they couldn't really give me a straight answer if you can stay there or not. You know, so I'm I'm assuming that probably the other driver has probably stay there. I didn't want to take a chance, but I had you know we made we made really good time today getting through you know the thing the thing that was like if I would have drove straight through and stayed there and everything would have been cool I would have been over like I would have been like 7 7 30 ish for miles I ain't, I ain't never got over 700 670 680 a couple times but I would have been like 740 if I would have made it straight there I would have made it there with like no time same thing is going to happen in the morning. You know, all we got to do tomorrow is, like, what, get around Fort Wayne? You know, if I leave here at 6 o'clock, we should be all right. <clears throat> it's a little over two hours to get there, so we should be good. We'll see what happens in the morning. But, um, yeah, we're going to take it easy the rest of the night. Listen to the Falcons. Uh, Hard, hard year for the for Atlanta Falcons this year. Playing the Giants right now. They're winning. It's in the fourth quarter, but they only win by a touchdown. So got the heat cranked up in the truck. Get some heat up in here, then uh, we uh, we'll be going to bed. Oh, oh, Falcons just scored <laughs> twenty to six. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully we can get this win. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go to bed, get up in the morning, we'll talk to you when we get, oh, hello, how you doing, you alright, you alright, alright, so, uh, we'll talk to you when we get to our customer and get delivered. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so we're here at our customer. This will be another interesting, you know, you got to back into one of those, yeah, that's kind of weird, mostly, but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, get these doors opened and get this thing delivered.